Are we live? We're live. All right. Welcome to the beautiful cafe here in the Eastside <laughs> Queens Wharf. Beautiful what sunrise. Is today? <laughs> this is what a usual morning looks like. Seb is uh, munching. Snacking. We had to keep him busy. Hopefully, there's enough snacks. Yeah. So anyway, I'll get to it. So this is how I start. Scale, pop. I put aside everything I basically use. Dosing cup. You have the plastic one uh, that comes with the grinder. A tamper. You may not need this. This guy, which I told you to get, which you have, which is great. And this this guy here, frothing pitcher, Arista blend. So you're gonna go with your dosing cup. Make sure it's clean. Um, and you're gonna zero out your scale. Do you want to show mm -hmm. the zeroing of the scale? So yeah, you want that to show zero. I keep my beans in this uh, airscape thingy. It locks all the air out, keeps the beans fresh. Have a little plastic spoon here. So I'm gonna weigh out my dose, which is a double dose. And I like to do um, 18 grams here for that dose. Perfect, 18.1, you know, let's go, okay, 18.3, just in case, because you're probably gonna lose 0.1 or 0.2 maybe, or you might not lose any sometimes if you're lucky. So, sealing this guy up, a bit of a fat. Okay, take your, your, your dosed out beans, put them into your hopper, Attach it here. Awesome, so we just ground our beans. It's gonna be different depending on how you grind it. This is my little, it comes with a little thing to, to do precisely this. Perfect, 18.0, I really like that. No, oh, 17.9. Oh no, oh no. Might be 18 now. Haha. -ha. Okay. 17.9, 18. That, that's totally fine. It doesn't have to be exactly 18 as long as it's very, very close. So what we're going to do then is we're going to take our dosing cup to our portafilter, which is make sure that you keep the portafilter in there because it's going to stay nice and hot for you. And you want it to be hot. You don't want a cold portafilter. So I'm just going to shake up these grounds, try to get rid of some of the clumps that are just naturally in there. This guy kind of fits on top and is quite nice, so it just goes in like so. Um, but you can also, yeah, so just get it in with the plastic one. You're gonna just, I do it like this and I would tap it and get it in. Um, and then you're gonna even it out a little bit with your hand, as much as you kind of can, that's fine. You're gonna take this guy, Put that in and press it. So this basket I'm using, it's supposed to be an 18 gram basket, but I feel like it's a little bit bigger. So it doesn't fully press it down as much as I'd like it with this. So I use a little tamp and I just kind of, you know, you don't just really, I'm just pushing it down a little bit more. That's already done 90% of the job. You're gonna lock this into your portafilter. Oh, those guys are stuck. Then you are gonna you are going to put your scale in your cup underneath and you are going to start your extraction. This machine already has it, uh, it's volumetric, so it has the amount of water that I like. So I like a, a two to one ratio. So 36 grams to 18 grams of uh, coffee. And uh, here you're going to see the extraction. So it's going to be a really, really nice extraction. Although I'm just getting used to this new grinder, but I think that is quite the extraction. So we're going to leave that go. Over here, I am going to shake up, what do we got? 39, yeah, so just over 36. That is a beautiful extraction. When you see that it's not like spurting and it's not all over your white cup, you know that you did a good job. Uh, especially in a bottomless portafilter. So that might not be the case with yours, it'll always look clean, but a bottomless portafilter really shows you. So in this guy here, for these cups, I like to fill it up right below that spout line. I don't know if you could see that. Mm -hmm. So there we go, right below the spout line. I'm gonna take that guy here, give it a little swirl, get rid of that massive bubbles that I already have in there. And I'm gonna froth this guy up. So this is how I like to froth it, to each their own. Um, this isn't really frothing as well as I'd like right now. I mean, we've got a little bit of a vortex. It's not really spiraling as much as I'd like it to. But you know, it's doing a good job. I think we'll be okay. 
might have too much milk. So you just want to do it until the pitcher is hot to touch, or you can like barely hold it. So I think that's pretty good. And I will clean that up after, don't worry. And you want to just pick it down a little, get rid of the big bubbles. I think I have too much milk here, which is fine. And you're just gonna pour this in. video. Seb's losing his mind, so I'm gonna go.